I'm Michelle Savoy. I'm a protected species observer and I'm here on a conservation easement held by the San Juan Preservation Trust. I'd like to talk to you about one of my favorite protected species, the marbled murrelet. You'll see like one bird pop up and if the other one isn't usually within like a meter or two of the other one, they start curing back and forth and slowly like come back through that curing. That's how they maintain a connection to each other. So sweet and I don't know why, it like literally has brought me to tears before. One thing I find fascinating about this seabird is that it took ornithologists over a hundred years to determine where they nest. While they forage in nearshore waters on bait fish, it wasn't until 1975 that they determined they nest high up in old growth trees. The parents lay one egg in a small depression of moss and lichen on a large conifer tree. Parents take 24 hour shifts incubating the egg. They only fly back and forth to the nesting site under the cover of darkness, probably to help them avoid predation by crows and ravens. The cold waters of the San Juan Islands provide an ideal habitat for forage fish such as anchovies, sand lance, and sardines that marbled murrelets eat. Unfortunately, only 5 to 20 percent of old growth forest remains, largely in fragmented patches. One bird that was tagged in the San Juan Islands was found to be flying up to 60 miles per day between the forage areas of the San Juans to its nesting site on the Olympic Peninsula. So the marble murrelet is a living example of the intricate ecological connection between land and sea. And it is an example of the importance in preserving mature forests in the San Juan Islands.